hi and welcome to my channel so the prime minister of the united kingdom that's mr rishi sunak is obviously on a mission to reduce net migration so he wants to cut down on immigration and he has announced that that is his top priority right now as the uk is preparing for the next general election so he has indeed in fact new rules have been announced regarding citizenship and a lot of things that are really important and very vital to know as an immigrant whether you're already in the uk right now or you're still planning to move to the uk there are four new changes that i've announced just today and these are going to be even more life-changing than all the other changes that they have announced because it has to do with citizenship how long you need to apply who can now apply for british citizenship and so there's quite a lot involved look i'm going to be going through all these four changes in detail in this video so that you're aware of what they are and you can make more informed decisions for yourself for your family for your dependents and for your loved ones if you're new to my channel look you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber i appreciate your time and I hope that you're finding these videos helpful and please do share with anybody who can benefit from this information. Look, I have a free newsletter where I send you updates like this about everything going on in the UK, immigration laws, rules, policies, changes, you know, any career progression opportunities, which is what I'm really passionate about as that is the main thing that brings many of us here to the UK. Work from home jobs that you can do without even worrying about visas, immigration and all of that, as well as you know side business ideas that you can start today so you can earn more money and be free from the bondage that comes with working visas and all of this shebang so if you're interested in any of these i send that information directly to your inbox so that you're not relying on the youtube algorithm and that info comes to you just as it's made available so if you check the comment section below i have dropped a link to the free newsletter all you need to do is drop your name and email and you're part of the newsletter free visa sponsorship opportunities in the uk i'll send that to you you know anything that is going on you'll be the first person to know so you also find my contacts obviously on that newsletter and if there's anything personal anything private that you're thinking hmm i don't want to put it here on youtube you can also use that to find my contacts and obviously get in contact with me but before i get started let me tell you if you're watching this what is your situation are you currently planning to move to the uk if so, which pathway are you considering to use? If you're already in the UK, which pathway are you using? I'd like you to leave a comment in the comment section so that I can know, you know, what your situation is. And if there's any challenge that you have, you've wanted to move to the UK and because of one reason or another, you're not here yet, leave that in the comment section. I'll also be able to give you some tips and some prompts on what you can do to salvage the situation. Because look, as these laws keep changing, they are only going to change for the worse. So let's get started. The first um, change that the government is planning to introduce is that citizenship right now in the UK, if you're in the UK, obviously, to apply for indefinite leave to remain, you can do that after five years. With the current plans that the government has, it's going to be after eight years, which means that they're going to increase the time that you need to work in the UK before you can apply for indefinite leave to remain so that is permanent residence in the uk and look this is something that is very very life-changing because if you think of the employers the certificate of sponsorship this means that the time is going to be extended so the time that you're tied down to a particular employer is going to be increased as well so from five years which is the current situation and i can tell you that it is tough if you're in the uk right now you know working you know how tough it is being with that employer for five years whether you're switching employers it doesn't matter it is a tough job but they are planning to increase it to eight years which means that if you're wanting to move to the uk you need to move before all these laws are brought into place and by the way if you're watching this and you're wondering who i am my name is melvis you know i work as an advanced nurse practitioner here in england so i mean i live in the uk i'm a very senior nurse myself i moved uh you know i was a student um i've worked as a carer in a nursing home then i've progressed beautifully in my nursing career and i have a private career coaching program where i support nurses carers students student nurses anybody that wants to move to the uk or looking to switch visa sponsorship i can support you with that i have a private career coaching program where i support with all of this which are the jobs offering visa sponsorship how do you apply where do you apply looking at your personal circumstance what is the best job to go for to give you the highest chances for success 
how do you position yourself so that you're successful what do you need on your cv you know how do you apply what about the interview preparation how do you get apprenticeships if you're already in the uk career progression you know how do you progress in your career because you don't want to be stuck in the same position so i support with all of that personalized individualized and tailored support you know so that you succeed you don't only get to the uk but you actually you know get to the best opportunities that there are in this country rather than just like living hand to mouth paycheck to paycheck broke depressed and thinking that it was never even worth coming to this country so if you're interested in this personalized support then by all means do check the about section of this youtube channel or check the description box below you'll see a link to my private coaching program once you join then we have that first one-to-one -one session to you know get to know who you are what it's all about and then how we can proceed by having obviously a plan in place you also get you know to have one weekly live sessions you get to meet other members of the program you know every week just to discuss to talk about changes updates you know we go through vacancies who is recruiting what are they looking for how do you apply where do you apply so it is really important especially at a time now where the government is cracking down on immigration you want to come to the country when the laws are still very very you know good and better because let me tell you if these laws are put in place, it is going to make a bad situation a lot worse. So that is the first law, obviously, that they have suggested. So indefinite leave to remain is going to increase from five years to eight years. And the government is actually saying that this will be in line with other European countries. And by the way, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed to my channel, do you want to hit that subscribe button? Turn on the notification button so that you're the first person to be notified every single day when I drop a new video on here. So let's move to the second. So the second one is that for you to be able to apply for that indefinite leave to remain, you, you need to have worked in the UK for at least two years or studied in the UK for at least two years. Again, with the current rules that are in the UK, you don't need to. Let's say, for example, you come to the UK as a main applicant. Let's say you're a nurse. If you bring your dependents, your dependents can be at home, for example, babysitting or doing whatever. They don't necessarily need to work if they don't have to. And I know there are many people that are in the position where one person is at home and one person is working and you still get to apply for that indefinite leave to remain together with the new laws that the government is suggesting proposing and planning to implement it will no longer be possible this means that for you to get you know indefinite leave to remain in the uk if you've not worked in the uk for at least two years or you've not studied a course in the uk for at least two years it will not be possible for you to have indefinite leave to remain and this is something that is going to be very very challenging and again you want to make hay while the sun shines. So that is a second law that they are suggesting, that they are proposing and that they are bringing forward and that they are going to be deliberating on. Obviously, this is going to be a developing story, which means that as more information becomes available, I will be bringing that to you through this channel and to make sure that you're updated, you're aware of what's going on. But most importantly, you need to be implementing the information that is there. If you're thinking of moving to the UK, you know, or you're looking for, you know, a work visa, for example, it's the same thing. You don't want to get, you know, things like out, for example, to hold you back because there are many jobs that you can apply for in the UK right now that don't need out. Again, I've done lots of videos on this channel explaining all of that in detail so that people are not stuck or being held back because of out when actually you don't even need it. So again, you want to make sure that you're smart, you're wise, you're getting good advice, you're getting, you know, the right support that you need to help you achieve those goals. If you're already part of my private coaching program, then, you know, you know the lens that we go through with those CVs, two and four CV reviews, changes, update that, do this. It's quite a lot of work that is involved. And so if you're just using the same CV, for example, you don't know what the right CV should be, should be like then it is very challenging to get those jobs. Whether you're switching from within the UK or you're still out of this beautiful country, you need to make sure that you're getting the right support, which is ultimately what is going to lead you to that success that you deserve to achieve your goals. So let's move to the third. So the third um, you know, proposal that they are having is that if you have any criminal conviction whatsoever, you know, over the last 10 years, you will not be able to get indefinite leave to remain in the UK. Again, this is something that is massive because what this means is that if you come to the UK 
as an immigrant and anything happens and you get a conviction for anything whatsoever, you will not be able to get your British citizenship. Currently, they just go through the convictions depending on what has happened, you know, and what sort of conviction it was. It doesn't mean that you're banned from getting citizenship, but with the new laws, that is going to be the case. It will no longer be possible if you've had any conviction whatsoever. It doesn't matter what it is, you will not be able to apply for citizenship. And again, what do you think is going to happen? This means that if you're not able to apply for citizenship or you're not eligible to apply for that indefinite leave to remain, you will have to leave the UK. Because obviously, remember, the government's objective is that of reducing net migration. To reduce net migration, you need more people leaving the UK than the people that are coming to the UK. So that's why they're bringing all these rules. And these new rules that they're implementing will mean that fewer and fewer people will become eligible to get indefinite leave to remain, which ultimately will mean that fewer people will become eligible for British citizenship. By so doing, people are going to become, you know, illegal immigrants or they will have to leave the country. So you need to be very careful. You need to make sure that your circle of friends, you know what I mean? I've seen people who've gotten into a lot of trouble just because of the friends that they keep. So you need to be very careful if you're an immigrant in this country to make sure that you're on the good side of the law because all these rules are not the best. But that's what the government is planning, obviously, to implement. And then there's the fourth rule, obviously, like we said. And by the way, um, if you haven't joined my newsletter, like I said, if you check the comment section below, I have dropped a link on there. Once you join that newsletter, I send information like this directly to your inbox because YouTube, you know, works on the on an algorithm deciding what should you see, what should you not see and all that. I don't want you missing out on vital info. It won't take you 20 seconds to join. Once you join that newsletter and that info becomes available, I send it directly to your beautiful inbox so that you don't miss out. But if you need that tailored that individualized and that personalized support with getting jobs in the UK as well as career progression in the UK, then I can support with that through my private coaching program, which you can find a link um, in the description box below or the about section of this YouTube channel um, and make sure that you join because the earlier you get started with these things, the better. You want to make hair while the sun shines. You don't want to keep procrastinating. If you watched my previous videos, I'm very much into implementation. You know, if something needs to be done, it needs to be done today. There's nothing like, oh, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, yeah, then tomorrow, then tomorrow. Before you know it, it's already 10 years gone. So you don't want to procrastinate. And if you like this video, just hit that like button. It lets me know that you're enjoying content like this. And obviously, I should do more. If you also know anybody that can benefit from this info, please do share with them so that they're aware of what these changes are that are coming up. And obviously, they can keep themselves updated because as an immigrant, the worst thing you can do, you know, is to be ignorant of the laws and the rules and the policies where you're living. So the third one that they're planning is that people over the age of 65 will now no longer be exempted from writing life in the UK test. Let me tell you, if for you to have indefinite leave to remain in the UK, you must write and pass a test, which is called life in the UK test. This is for all immigrants. You know, I had to write that as well to get mine. If you don't write it or you don't pass it, you cannot get indefinite leave to remain. Currently, you know, with the current um, rules, people over the age of 65 are exempted from writing this test, which means if you're in the UK and you're 70 years old, you're exempted from writing the test. But the government wants to remove this exemption so that every single person has to write the test and pass it before they can get indefinite leave to remain. Again, this is going to mean that so many people will not be able to get British citizenship or, you know, indefinite leave to remain and British citizenship. And the UK is saying that they want to be in line with other European countries. I'm going to give you an example of Switzerland. Switzerland, you know, I've been to most countries in Europe and I can tell you that Switzerland is the most beautiful country in Europe. Very expensive, but the pay, the salary is very, very high. One of the best countries actually in the world is Switzerland. But when it comes to immigration, they have some of the toughest immigration policies in the world. And that's why, you know, despite the, the prospects in that country, it is very uncommon to hear people saying, I'm going to Switzerland. Because in Switzerland, it is very difficult to get, you know, to become a Swiss national because of the citizen lo citizenship laws that they have. In Switzerland, you're not exempted from these tests, obviously, 
for you to get that citizenship you have to write and pass the language test and like the language <laughs> it's not easy it is so tough so because of that people can live in switzerland for 50 years 60 years how, how many other years they live if you don't speak the language you will never be able to get citizenship and that's why very few immigrants that actually even move to switzerland live and work there are able to get citizenship so the government the uk government wants to do the same thing by removing the exemption that is currently in place for people over the age of 65. So what do you think about these laws? What do you think about these rules? What do you think about these policies? You know, what is your current situation? Please leave a comment in the comment section. What is holding you back? If you're currently wanting to move to the UK or switching your visa or you're already in the UK, what is the biggest challenge that you're facing right now? Just leave those comments and I'll be able to join you in the comment section and we can go through that information in detail to make sure that we can give you, you know, some tips and some advice or other people may also be able to help out. But on this channel, I've made lots of videos about different, you know, visas to move to the UK, to switch, you know, jobs that are offering visa sponsorship without out or OET, you know, all sorts of different things that you need to know, you know, career progression pathways apprenticeship opportunities, you know, work from home jobs that you can do, as well as side business ideas that you can start. Because look, my objective is retiring as early as possible. Because this whole work thing and all of that is a huge inconvenience. Yes, it's got its place and time, but you need to be thinking about independence long term. You don't want to be reliant on visas, on jobs, being, you know. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you do want to hit that subscribe button turn on the notification button so you're the first to be notified when i drop a new video on here but if you need that tailored individualized support then consider joining my private coaching program where i can support you with that and please do share this with anybody that can benefit from this info and you know thanks for your time and i look forward to seeing you in the next video